we gotta just put, you know, keep going, man. Keep our foot on the gas and keep getting better every day. Cameron, I just want to ask you about your defense tonight. I think five blocks, three steals, just what you see. And, and was it because you were playing, you know, small ball center that kind of presented those opportunities? Uh, yeah, when Draymond went out, I just tried to do my best to help everybody out. And he's he's so good at just sniffing out plays before they happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, so I just try to follow his lead with that. I learned so much from him throughout the season. Um, but <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to play hard, man. I keep saying that. Just play play hard every possession. I'm going to make mistakes, but not get discouraged because guys make shots over me or I get gave up an end when the first play of the game, you know, so I just try to just keep my head up and think about the next play and just play all of my teammates. Jay on the Jay on the ESPN. <clears throat> Draymond, what, what have you seen from Kevin and Seth in these first two games? Um, I see two guys who, you know, Steph, I've been around for five years. Um, K, who I've been a teammate now with for a year but played against for five years. More locked in than I've ever seen any either one of them in my life. Well, whether it was playing against him, uh, other when other than when he put fifty two up on my head. Um, fifty four. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> Short change You know, other than that, you know, when you when you got somebody doing you like that, it's just like a burning fire in their eye. And you know you don't stand a chance, but that's that's like the look that I see in him, you know, throughout this finals and both of them. To me, it seemed like both. it's personal for both of them. And, you know, you're talking to the greatest players in, that we got in this world. Locked in the way they are, you know, that's that's why we're up 2-0. And, you know, they're, you know, two of our leaders, you know, that we follow. And with them playing like that, it's everybody has to be locked in. When you got those two guys locked in like that. And so, you know, they continue to do that, which I have no doubt in my mind they will. And we'll continue to follow their lead. Last two questions on the right and over here in the third row. Yes, Draymond. Dave Lewis, NBC News Radio. Uh, you're passionate when you're in the game or not in the game. I thought the best reaction you had tonight was when Kevin had a block of love late in the game. He went down, had a blunder at the other end. The and one yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were into it. Um, and I thought that single play probably finished him off. Um, could you talk about uh, what one play can do in terms of lighting up the crowd and lighting up your fans and, and your team? Um, I mean, you know, when you make a play like that, you know, number one, you know, where they think they got a mismatch and they're trying to, you know, go at K in the post. He blocked the shot, get the rebound, start talking. That's that's the big part for me. You know, he he blocked the shot and started talking. So that's what got me hyped. And, um, you know, then he pushed the ball at the floor. And you can see right there in him, he's not passing that ball. He's going to get a bucket and a goal. You know, he took some contact and still finished the play. You know, those are the plays that, you know, kind of put you over the top, the plays that, you know, just bring life into a team. And, you know, that's the luxury that you have with Kate, you know, where he get a block, he get the rebound, he don't have to give a ball to nobody, he can go get a bucket. I mean, that was a huge play for us, you know, and like you said, I think that's where we kind of close the game out with that play right there. Robert, last question. I'm Robert Littell, Black Sports Online. Uh, Kevin LeBron was really kind of dominating the game for three quarters. Uh, then you actually uh, took a, a lot of the responsibility of guarding him in the fourth, and he only had two points after that. While he was also guarding you, and you were putting those buckets in to kind of put the dagger. Can you speak about the fourth quarter, kind of going back and forth with LeBron? And uh, Draymond, if I, I do believe I'm doing that sequence you just uh, spoke about, you did flex. Uh, for that, and uh, you, do you transfer your flexing powers over to, to Kevin Durant Jeez. when there's good sequences like that? Uh, first off, um, Andre Iguodala was guarding him for the most part in the second half, and you know, um, they, Draymond was out, so I had to play four and guard him big. So Andre uh, did a solid job of just trying to make it tough on him. So and we just tried to help him out as well. And offensively, I just try to play within the offense and move and be aggressive when the ball is in my hands. And, um, uh, so, there you go with that part. That was a man play. Uh, I don't really know if I can put this power in these arms. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys.